Hey guys, George MGR Performance. I did a little work, a little more work. I wasn't planning to, but I figured since I'm doing YouTube videos right now, um, let me try and improve this cylinder head. Like I said, this cylinder head, we were running it for two years on a turbo setup. I had raised the port, watch the other video, I'm talking about it. Um, I had not touched the entire port. And uh, <clears throat> I tested on my new bench that I just got. And uh, I was getting less flow than the first time I flow tested on a friend's Sanya's bench. So I don't kind of like to lose, uh, you know, flow numbers, not everything, but I said, you know what, let me see if I can try to gain those numbers back. I don't know, I haven't tested this cylinder head here and then went there to see what the difference is between this bench and his bench, right? But I, I can check my difference between what it was flowing before on this bench, same port, same everything, same gasket, same feature, same clay, the whole nine yards. <clears throat> I just did some, a little minor work as the, um, um on the valve job side coming into the chamber. There was a little bit of a ridge from the CNC because the chamber, this set, this older head started as a CNC and then I reworked it. <clears throat> so I fixed that. Then um, the head bolt that goes through the, um, here, this head bolt here, it's a 3.8 bolt and they kept they kept a bulge of uh, aluminum still there instead of sleeving it and putting a 716. So I, I kind of knocked it down a bit and blended into the short turn. And what else did I do? And I just blended the whole port because there were some areas that the CNC lives there. So basically I had just worked here, this area. I had just increased the push rod pinch. That was it. Um, and I have done a, a special intake valve from Victory. It's an extreme duty valve, but I've, I've done a double back at on the valve. So it's a 50 degree valve job with a um, 30, I don't remember, I don't remember the, the angles. Was it 30, 40, 50? Something like that. I have a double back at on the intake. Anyways, it's a custom valve that I did. Uh, <clears throat> so, this is the flow numbers that I showed you guys last time on my video, okay? And this is what it's doing right now. We gained at 100, we gained at 200, we gained at 300, we gained at 400, we gained at 500, we gained at 600, we gained at 700, 750, 800 is going 344 right now, and then it backs off. It backs off um, a little bit more than before because now what I did, uh, I don't like, I'm not gonna, I can get it to go 350 this side. It's just, it's not worth my effort. It's going behind a turbo car. So whatever, I mean, the amount of work that I did, I'm, I'm gonna be able to do all the intake ports the same within uh, let's say an hour and a half. I'm done so why not you know charge the customer a couple of hours again four to seven C cfm everywhere you know what i mean i just wanted to see if it's going to pick up now i get to do all the other uh, all the other ports so these are the final numbers doing pretty good i mean like i said before full numbers not everything but you guys seem to enjoy uh videos with uh tech like this so I just blended, uh, you see the little bulge in there? I don't know if you can see it, right there. I, I blended it in, because if you can see this one, uh, it's more pronounced. This one knocked it down and I blended it to the short turn. And uh, a little minor work, uh, going to the chamber from the valve job. 
George MGR Performance, thanks for watching. Have a great day. I mean, it's not going to hurt on a turbo car, but I don't think we're going to be able to tell the difference because we gained 4 CFM. I just wanted to do a little, since now I have the big bench and I'm doing videos and whatever, I figure you guys will enjoy some uh, tech. So see little things, just a, a little ridge into the valve job. Um, here, I'll show you. Maybe I can get the other head. Uh, let's go here. So basically, see this lip here? Well, the air doesn't like to travel on that, so I blended this. I didn't even go through the chamber, I just blended this. And there's a big bulge there. Some people usually break that through and sleeve it. As you can see at the bottom is 716, but it tapers into 38. This is a special, this head. Usually small block shapes are not like that. So I knock this down and I blend it into my short turn. You know, just a little bit with the grinder here, a little bit there, a little bit blended and bang. Gain four, five, seven CFM. I don't think this is gonna make any difference, but it looks better. <laughs> George MGR Performance, hope you enjoy the videos. Have a great day. And hit a subscribe, please. I wanna make it to a thousand subscribers before New Year's. If possible, that would be amazing. And again, if you're, I'm gonna go back again. Naturally aspirated, you try to squeeze everything. Yes, in this case, that would help because the step into the chamber and that to the short turn, the head will work better. But when you're pushing it with 40 pounds of boost, uh, after that, it's more the shape that's important than the flow numbers of the heads because the air travels under vacuum in naturally aspirated engine. But when it's under pressure, it doesn't work the same when, as if it was under vacuum. You, you jam it in there, you know what I mean? So when you're running methanol and boost and all that, the bigger port and the bigger valve and all that, it will help a lot more than the flow numbers. Have a great day, hit a like, subscribe, thank you.